with Diego Lopez. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Where are the Mexicans at? Where are my Mexicans at? Born on December 30th, 1994, deep in the jungles of Brazil, Diego Lopez wasted no time in starting his combat sports career. His family placed him in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the age of five, and by the age of seven, Diego was already competing. He gained his purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu nine years later when he was just 16, and shortly after this, use this base to transition into mixed martial arts. Diego Lopez is such an alpha male, he didn't even bother testing the waters of MMA in the amateurs before going pro. He took a short notice professional debut fight against a fighter his brother considered too inexperienced for himself, but just right for Diego to get his start against. Diego Lopez has not looked back. Diego went 3-0 before suffering two back-to-back losses, but then he put together a nine-fight win streak before taking his third loss at the beginning of 2018. This didn't deter Diego in the slightest, and he vowed to improve his striking. The gritty Brazilian Mexican went on another massive winning streak going undefeated in seven fights, most of which took place in the Mexican Fight League Lux, before getting a call-up to Dana White's Contender Series in 2021. He got eye-poked brutally by Joe Anderson Brito. Diego took another loss after this, but racked together two more wins and took a short-notice call-up against Mozvar Evloev. Diego gave Mozvar a UFC title contender one of the toughest fights he's ever had. And he quickly became a fan favorite. However, all MMA fans know that stardom is especially fickle in our sport. Success was not guaranteed, but that thought never entered Diego's mind. He has been on an absolute tear ever since submitting Gavin Tucker with a triangle armbar in under two minutes of the first round, knocking out Pat Sabatini in 90 seconds flat at UFC 295, and beating his own KO record by absolutely abusing and battering Sadiq Youssef to get the first round finish in 89 seconds at UFC 300. And so, a star is born. There is no better time to learn a little bit about this new featherweight contender's background and personal life. Diego Lopez is from the jungles of Brazil, literally. He was born in Manaus, the capital city of the Amazonas state, named after the Amazon River that flows through it. Manaus, a large city of around 2 million people, is smack in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. Despite hailing from Brazil, Diego has spent the last decade of his life in the great nation of Mexico. Diego considers both countries and cultures to be extremely formative to who he is as a person. At the age of 19, he took a job offer in Mexico and has lived there ever since, settling in Puebla, a beautiful city in the south of Mexico where his gym, Brazilian Warriors, is located. Puebla is a large city, the fourth biggest in Mexico, with nearly 3.5 million people, and it is known for its Renaissance and Mexican Baroque architecture, being a planned city built during the viceroyalty of New Spain. Diego also spends a lot of his time cross-training in Guadalajara, Mexico, with his personal friend Alexa Grasso at the Lobo Gym. Since joining forces with Lobo Gym, Diego has not tasted defeat and it looks like he may even taste gold. 
If you enjoyed the video, I want you to treat the like button like it's Diego Lopez's hair. And your thumb is a pair of clippers. And you are smashing the like button by only shaving the sides of your head and letting everything grow long. Hey, party up front, party in the back like Diego Lopez. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I post a wide variety of MMA content, serious documentaries like this, comedic tier lists, live fight companions, all sorts of stuff. And turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my cutting edge, innovative sports content. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special shout out to my Lion Tier members. Dime, papi. Dime, mami.